Hi, Dominica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the needle in a mini sewing machine like this. Okay, so your needle may have broken or it's getting a bit blunt because it's been used quite a bit. You would have been provided with a spare needle in with your sewing machine. Um, if not, then I would recommend um, the size 9014 universal needles. Um, and if you're not sure, take your needle out and take that to your local um, sewing supply shop and the size of the needle will actually be engraved on there. So depending on how good your eyes are, you can read the size of the needle, okay? And these ones do say 9014, all right? So before we change the needle, uh, I'm just gonna take this thread out of the needle and make sure your needle is in the highest position possible. So Use your hand wheel to get it in the highest position. The next thing you need to do is loosen this screw here on the needle bar. So you can either use a coin, uh, a little flathead screwdriver, or you can grab one of your spare bobbins. So you put the bobbin into the little slot and hold the needle as you do this so it doesn't drop down and turn the screw towards you. And just loosen it enough to allow you to pull the needle down and take it out, all right, and then with your replacement needle, you need to make sure that the flat side of the top of the needle, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a flat edge and there's a rounded edge. Make sure the flat edge is pointing to the right of your machine, okay? So you might need to just put the needle down into the hole to allow you to get the needle into the holder there. So just making sure that flat edge oh, is the right way. Okay, and push it up as far as it will go. And as you're pushing it upwards, turn the screw away from you to tighten. And it'll hold that needle in place and then just use that bobbin to make it a little bit tighter. Okay, so your needle shouldn't be wobbling. It should be pushed up as far as it can go and then you're ready to re-thread your needle and sew. Okay, I hope that's helped. Give this video a, a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you need any other advice for this mini sewing machine. Thanks for watching.